Floyd Sr., you were here listening to what Freddie said. Do you have any uh, reaction to anything that you heard him say off the top of your head? Ain't nothing he said moved me. It ain't, it, whatever he said, it moved on. Floyd, what do you say to uh, Freddie's comments yesterday that um, he thought that Floyd Jr. is kind of scared and might not even show up for the fight? What was well, your reaction to that? Well, Freddie Roach is a joke with no hope. That's the answer. Floyd, Floyd, over here. I got a question for you about this fight in terms of what we can expect to see two different styles of fighters. Does that make this a better viewing fight? To be honest with you, I don't think it's going to be much of a fight. Sure. Pretty much. Thank you. Floyd, over here. Uh, back when the Cota fight happened, I remember you came and saying that you came back to help Floyd's defense because he got hit too much in that fight. What have you done in particular to help Floyd's defense and sharpen it up, especially coming into this fight? Well, you know what? Uh, but some of that defense anyway. When you got defense, you got defense. You either got it or you don't have it. It's just, it's just when you can get better with it. But it's it, it, not just so much teach, teaching defense. Jab the guy back, double jab right at the left hook, all that stuff, defense. Push the guy like that, defense. Floyd, you, uh, you fought Ray Leonard. Um, how would you compare your son uh, to, to Sugar Ray and the other greats of that era? And what would a win do for his legacy, do you think? Well, you know, I'm not here uh, to talk about Leonard. One thing that didn't happen, to be honest, I would have won it. But as you see, it was a, a good, good fight. The only thing was is that I had a headline fracture in my right hand. Me and him talked about, me and Linda talked about that. I actually didn't even want to do a charity. But the kid had to do it. He said, Linda said he didn't want to do headaches. And I understood it. Floyd, uh, over here, it's obviously listening to him extremely important five years watching your son he wants to win this fight me and freddie uh, yeah i mean i don't think he's ever won anything well what would it mean freddie wanting to win this fight as badly as he does how badly do you want to win it does this mean it, it obviously it, it means a lot to him fighters already won trust me believe me fighters already won they all, they all talking that talk. They keep talking about how scared for him and how scared for him was for five years. That was them. They, they had to be scared. We were scared. But Freddie and we were going to make any day, any time, any year, any moment. Floyd over here. Uh, my next? Yes. Okay. If you look at, obviously we know you think that your son's going to be Pacquiao. Many experts do. Here's my question. If you look at the history of Pacquiao's career, what would you say was his best performance? His best performance? Yes. When, uh, his best performance when uh, Marquez Christian. Oh, Floyd, you're down here. Uh, you obviously feel like uh, like your son is going to score a knockout, uh, yet he hasn't done that in, in quite a while. What is it about uh, Pacquiao that you see in him that, that makes him right uh, for Floyd to knock him out? Uh, Freddie mentioned that he got hit with a sucker shot by Marquez early in the first round, and that you might look at that. I'm sorry, sir. It ain't going to be no sucker shot. It's going to be the real shot.
Bob Floyd, is it at all bittersweet that this is the last two fights for your son's career, that this year is going to be the end of his career? Uh, you know, I think, I, think it, I think it's best for any man that's wrong to do whatever they choose to do. And whether it's getting out the game or continuing it, or continuing the game down the line. But I, I, basically, I think that he should quit the I'm, I'm just saying that's leave up my thoughts because because if you stick around, um, somebody gonna get you sooner or later. Floyd, right down here on your on your right here, second row, Floyd. Yeah. You talk about this fight just in terms of the promotion, where the live date's gonna be a record, pay per view numbers are gonna be a record. So I'm just saying that's what I think. Uh, why it is that. Everything is so big because the hotel is price high. Everything gonna be price high, believe me. More than that. Before the Floyd Senior, you seem very confident that your your uh, kid is gonna win this fight. It seems to be more confident uh, than he was going into the Maidana fights and Guerrero and Cotto. Can you sort of talk about why you? so much belief that he's going to uh, handle Pacquiao so easily, a one-sided drubbing or a knockout, I think you said yesterday. <laughs> Man, listen to Do you know boxing? Honestly, maybe not as well. It don't sound like you know it too well. Why? Why? It's because the thing that you asked me. They weird, they crazy, they dumb, they stupid. Hi, Floyd, you're right. Yes, Do you think that after the uh, Pacquiao deal or uh, uh, Marcus Cayo's Pacquiao has been recovered of the, of the, or is a different fighter after the after all? You, you say that after the Pacquiao loss. Do I think that it's different? My, do you, I think that Pacquiao is still qualified after the Margarita knockout? My cat is my guy. Yeah, well, I'm going to tell you like this right here, man. And it's true all day long. Anybody that's ever been in boxing long enough will know what I'm talking about. Once you get hit like that and your ass go to sleep, it ain't going to take too many more than that. Oh, gone. It's, Go after again. I want you to. I don't call what round. I'm telling you, when it is, it's gonna happen. So, I want your opinion about your son making so much millions. Say what now? What's your opinion about the, your son making so much millions? <laughs> this man over here laughing at you, man. He thinks you asked the crazy question. Okay, I think that. Uh, that my son making so many millions, I think that my son worked very, very hard for a lot of years. And I think that he's getting the millions because he's doing his job. And he's doing his job very well. You don't get millions doing nothing. Floyd, a lot has been made the last week about Floyd Jr. being low key and more quiet than usual. And you know, that kind of thing. Freddie Roach brought it up again yesterday. Is there anything to the fact that Floyd Jr. has been sort of low-key this past week? And any particular reason why the Pacquiao camp keeps talking about that? Man, look, we don't care what they say. We are not scared, I'm telling you that. They the one who's scared. We are not scared of Pacquiao or the Roach. Neither one of them. Big Floyd, how you doing? I gotta ask you this, you taught your son everything, he's 47 and 0. Did you learn anything from your son working with him over the years? Man, you know, ain't, ain't no way you can work with anybody for 20 years, man, and don't learn something from them, even though you may know it all, but hey, you got to learn something from them. 
I don't care if he, I don't care if he was learning that he was a nice guy or a bad guy. Or was he a thief or was he not? Floyd, um, over here on your right, uh, in the corner. Um, uh, it was mentioned uh, when Freddie Roach was here that uh, the opposition was still waiting for the gloves, uh, the grant gloves, to be delivered. Can you just explain what the delay is on that, or if there is a delay, or whether you have handed them in? Scary. Well, what's happened with the gloves? Uh, basically. I think that um, the glove is not an issue. I think the glove is really not an issue because Man Pacquiao can put the same kind of gloves on Floyd's way. And then they can do it. Same gloves. But are they likely but to it, be? It, 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 they ain't nothing but, they ain't nothing but fear. They ain't nothing but fear. That's all it is. Floyd, do you know? Floyd, do you know how many times your son has been drug tested randomly during this camp? No, I don't. Uh, also, Freddie said that uh, this is what he said that Showtime forced Mayweather to, to fight Pacquiao because they were losing money on the deal. What is your response to Freddie's comments? Come on, man. Freddie, the joke, Coach Rhodes. I keep telling you. I'm just, I'm just telling you that Freddy Roach no good will that's not true. And it wasn't true all these years, like five years, that Floyd was scared of men. Now we gonna finally, now we finna finally get around to it. Now we finna see. Floyd over here up. Freddie mentioned that that, you, that he's tired of your uh, poems. You may have lost the ability to put together some creative poems. Uh, do you have one for us for this one? Yeah, I'm gonna let, yeah, I'm gonna let the president Roach rest. I'm gonna let him rest. I ain't got nothing else to say about it. I said what I gotta say. It's done. Floyd, please. <coughs> Could you explain what is so bad about being scary? Don't you think that fear can allows you to enhance your level, being more alert? Could you? You understand? Huh? I repeat, I repeat. You, you, talk, you talk a lot about fear, about the, op the opposite camp, being scary. I'd like to know for you what's so bad with being scary. Does it, does it, it allows you to enhance your level, to be more alert? What's so bad with being scary in other terms? Did you just hear Freddie Roach up here said my son was scared? No, did you, you just hear that? No, no, did you hear? Did you hear Freddie Roach say that? He was talking about they, they was fear. fear. Fear is scary. Does the fear make him more alert? That's the question. I, for us, with me, you know, fear, fear can do a lot of things. Fear can, fear can make you better, or fear can make you worse. You know, it, that just depends on who it is, what person it is with the fear. Mr. Uh, um, Floyd spoke this week a lot about his family, his kids giving the money to his kids. Can you sense he's more major and also like more, um, he said in the past he did some stupid things. Do you think he's like changed a little bit over the years that uh, he's like, um, uh, he, he said this week he did some stupid things in the past. Uh, can you sense he's more major, more do you think that Floyd has become more mature over the years? More mature over the years? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Last question here in the middle. Just... 
Floyd, um, uh, we, uh, we know you've been dealing with uh, some health issues in the past, uh, sarcoidosis. Uh, uh, how are you dealing with that right now? Is that um, still affecting you? And uh, do you feel um, that you can still go as a trainer full, full force? I don't have sarcoidosis anymore. I, I, I'm, I'm that type of guy. I work hard, and, uh, and when you work hard, things usually results in, in what you're doing. So I work hard, and uh, here I am today speaking. And as a trainer, I'm the best. I must confess. For all the rest, there's no contest. I will shock your mind of one of a kind. I'm the greatest trainer of all time. With moves and grooves and dancing friends, your dudes better recognize who is the man. And I know your dudes don't want to fight.